The Monkey Village was buffed in the most recent update to BT the Ballast 2, more specifically the Monkeyopolis on the Monkey Village. So we're going to be using it in today's video to see if it's finally good or not. So let's see if it's good and let's see if we can win. So we got the map mine and I'm going to be using Biker Bones Bomb Farm Village as my strategy. And it looks like our opponent over here is going to be using DJ Benjamin. So let's get it. So it looks like our opponent is going to be starting off with the Tax Shooter as his first popping power tower. And we, on the other hand, are going to be starting off with the bomb and then hopefully able to also go for round one biker bones here as well okay but you guys already know the main objective for today's video as well is to showcase the newly buffed monkey village in bt battles 2 and by the way let's go for biker there awesome 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 but in the new 1.4 update the monkey village more specifically monkeyopolis on the monkey village was indeed buffed and in case you guys don't know what specifically was buffed we can actually go over those changes together right now so first of all we got the monkeyopolis no longer requires nearby banana farms to purchase monkeyopolis base pierce is now 15k plus 5k per farm absorbed and finally, the Monkeyopolis produce increased to $2,400 per round, four times $600 crates, plus additional crates to the value of the total value of farms absorbed divided by 2,000. What in the world did I just read? Okay, literally none of that made sense to me. So I, I don't know if it made sense to y'all either, but it, it seems like it just doesn't make sense, period. <laughs> Like, what even? Okay, so just know, though, before the Monkeyopolis used to not make that much money, now we make a lot of money, okay? But in all seriousness, today we're going to be showcasing the Monkeyopolis. We're going to try to absorb as many farms as we possibly can, and we're going to see how much money we can make with it, okay? Very, very excited to see it. And also, too, very cool change that you don't have to have banana farms within your strategy to go for the Monkeyopolis. Uh, so if you're using a pure ego strategy, and then you have the village within your strategy, you just go for a Monkeyopolis if you have the money for it, because why not? It's going to pay off eventually, considering you get $2,400 per round. But by the way, this guy has two taxers now over on his side. I did go for my farm here finally, and I thought he was going to be sending me space whites. Never ended up doing so. If he does end up doing so, we're going to have to go for the both top path upgrades, most likely, um, on our bomb. Okay, so we've got to watch out for that. But also, too, I'm trying to better my farm game. I feel like my farm game is just pretty bad. But also, if you want to go for both the cluster bomb and your hero during the earlier game rounds, then you're going to have bad farms. Because going for the cluster bomb, it's pretty expensive. And then on top of that, I think Biker Bones is like $750. I could be totally wrong. He just is expensive as well. Because $750, that's a lot of money during the earlier game rounds, you know? But nonetheless, we will bounce back and we will better our farm game. I'm thinking that this guy, by the way, is using a pure eco strategy himself because he still actually has yet uh, to set down a farm. And by now, he would have placed down a banana farm, you know? Or maybe he has some other sort of all eco. Maybe he's going to be using sniper farms. We don't know, but we will definitely see probably during these mid-game rounds. And also, too, I'm not too good with the strategy. I know Asian Sensation uses the strategy all the time, and he's an absolute freaking go with this strategy but not the same case for me guys i actually really struggle with this strategy especially the ddt's like i go for a few mob assassins you know to have those abilities ready for the ddt's but i sometimes get overran it's very scary and i just want to play it safe and go for the balloon crash you know but i guess we'll wait to see what happens um there is no need to send this guy by the way space region zebras here on round nine he has too many defenses over on his side so i'm gonna go for one more two zero zero farm now he decides to send his yellows Okay, so obviously we're fine against that, but I'm going to go for one more 200 farm and then probably just call it a day uh, with the farming for a little bit. Start ecoing with the group blues now, and we're going to need some camp detection for round 12. But he also could send us a rush here, but he's setting constant full yellows right now. Like, what? His defenses are simply not good, though. Why is he rushing me with all this? He's not rushing me, but why is he ecoing this hard? Oh! A lot of lag right there. Okay, so we need to prioritize, though, um, Radar Scanner Village. Okay, so let's go for that right about there. Perfect. Let's go for that as well. Ninja to the camo? <laughs> oh, I'm I'm going to let you get away with that. But, bro, you, you're joking, man. You only have Ninja? Oh, my. And he sent me camo purples, by the way. Easy class for us over on our side. I mean... You can tell this is a radar scanner village because there's two of these things on top of the antenna. Whatever the heck they're called. I don't really know, but you guys get what I mean. And let's get back to Equine, by the way. Okay, I didn't realize I wasn't Equine, but I want to hit at least 1,000 Eco. Then we'll probably be done Equine for the rest of the game and then focus just more on our farm game. 
But the main goal for today's video is to get up the Monkeyopolis, right? So that's why I just don't have any intentions of killing this guy right now. Like, we could force upgrades on his side, like, here and there, you know? Like, maybe on round 22, I'll send him a ZOMG or something like that. But the intent will not to be to kill him. The intent will to be, uh, you know, getting him preoccupied and also just forcing upgrades and whatnot over on his side. And by the way, I've been pre-recording a lot of content. Literally, I've been playing this game for, I don't know, like not 12 hours straight. But in the past 12 hours, I've probably played like at least 10 of those hours. It's been absolutely insane. But as most of you probably already do know, I think I talked about this. I will be on vacation for a week. So I'm trying to pre-record a week's worth of content. It gets tough. But with this new update, it actually works out really, really well. Because I just went over all the notable changes uh, with this update when it came to the balance changes with the towers, you know, and this is probably going to be the last uh, tower that I'm going to be showcasing for a video because all the other towers, they're not very like notable, you know what I mean? They're not very important. So I don't think it's necessary to cover or make an entire video covering uh, those changes on those other towers, you know, so I'm seeing though a lot of people want me to make a hypersonic flying fortress Probably will end up doing that. Maybe a battles one video as well I'm not too sure just yet, but round 17 is in fact here We still literally only have one cluster bomb by the way Like we have the most minimal defenses of all time. This is crazy Like if he sent us literally just one unfortified mob right now That would force a mob muller at least on my side fortified mob that would force probably a cluster bomb, uh, two more malls, just so many more defenses. But I could probably say the same thing for him. Dude, like his defenses, guys, they are just simply not good. He's equid so hard here too. But also, I, I guess we're farming pretty hard at the same time, you know? So should we send him a rush? Do we dare send him a rush here? Let, let's do it. Okay, this might force the sticky bomb upgrade on his side because he already has the flash bomb on one of those, I think. So he did stop going immediately as well. Went for the sticky bomb. Yep, that was 100,000 million percent worth it. And here on round 19, we might be able to actually go for the round 19 monkey wall street, which is like very uncommon with this strategy, at least for me. It is so hard to save up money with the strategy, but we need about $19,000 in order to do so. And also, there's probably going to be some ceramics. Yeah, there definitely are going to be some ceramics within the AI. So, hopefully, we can defend against those with just a single cluster. I don't actually know if that's going to work. Um, Okay, we're going to sell you, sell you, sell you. One more income boost. Perfect. And then I'm going to have to use this ability. Okay, we're going to leak a few lives. We're good, though. We're good. Let's go. Okay, let's go for you as well. Boom, 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 boom. And hopefully, we're going to be good i don't know guys i get scared i get freaking scared okay so maybe double cluster here or no 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 balloon impact balloon impact for sure okay so let's go for that right now maybe double damage because like seriously what the heck is going on why is it taking so long for me to pop it that was scary okay I i'm bad i know i'm bad for that you can make fun of me later but hey what matters is that we are in fact alive i'm gonna go for a market blazer right here i'm gonna send him just an unfortified zomg I swear to God, if this guy cannot defend against this, oh, that would so be unfortunate, okay? <laughs> and still, we have such minimal defenses right now, guys. This is absolute insanity. So what I probably should do, though, right here, I'm going to go for a bomb right here. That will be my eventual balloon crush, I'm thinking. Oh, he's got the super monkey within the strategy. Okay, well done. Look at that skin, by the way. Oh, my, I know it's supposed to be, like, pixelated purposely, but that is, like, very pixelated. Okay, so are we fine against this? We might have to go for Balloon Impact right here. Um, mm, okay, let me stun you. One more income boost. Go for that. Okay, then we're good after that, I think. We're good after that. Yes, we're good. Okay, those fortified ceramics on round 23. No joke. He ended up defending, by the way. I think, though, he ended up tower boosting, if I'm not mistaken. So... We'll take that any freaking day of the week, okay? But once we have around $30,000, should be able to sell off both of these central markets in order to go for a Banana Central. Now, round 26, though. Round 26 DDT specifically. Those are a bit hard for us to defend at times. So, the best and easiest way is the Balloon Crush. But obviously, the Balloon Crush is $55,000. So, we don't want to necessarily do that because it's just way too expensive now the more cost effective way of defending that would probably be just getting up some mob assassins but only so many mob assassins can do only so much you know to ddts that kind of didn't make sense but hopefully you guys get what i mean um mob assassins aren't really necessarily supposed to be good against ddts but they get the job done at the same time you know so 
I don't know. We'll figure it out, though. Okay, I might want to go for another farm here. Are we fine against AI? Yes, we are. Perfect. So I'm going to go for one more banana research facility here. And then, yeah, now we need to start preparing our defenses a bit more. You know what I'm going to do before that, though? Let's go for the primary mentoring at least um, right here. So not only does it affect now this uh, potential balloon crush because of the bigger radius, all these bombs are also obviously primary towers. So we get some upgrades for free and some increase of attack speed. The whole freaking nine yards. All right, so we got three mob assassins as of right now. So I guess we're in the clear. Currently, he's not rushing us, which is like good. But also pretty scary. Oh my god, he went for so many ninjas on his side. Bro, man was ready for a DDT rush. Holy, okay. <laughs> that is actually so funny. But none of them are upgraded. That's the funny thing. Like, he should probably have at least a few of those upgrades to the Shinobi buffs. Or even maybe a Sabo just to kind of have on standby, you know? Or maybe his micro is just absolutely freaking lootly godlike. Uh, but I'm going to probably be done with going for the BRFs up here. And my Monkeyopolis is probably going to be in the bottom left-hand corner of our screen okay so let's start going for a lot of farms down here and this village down here is going to be our monkeyopolis all right we got all the farms around it and i think that's all the farms we're going to be able to fit unfortunately even with the bigger radius i don't think we can get any more farms within the range okay and that's okay because that's eight banana farms guys that is a lot of money that we're going to eventually get round 20 bfb here too we should hopefully be fine oh my god i didn't realize i could go for all of these wait can i go for the monkeyopolis itself I might be able to... No! $55,000! Holy! Okay. I did not expect it to be that much. But at the same time, that definitely makes sense. Okay, wait. We're about to have enough money to go for that, though. On round 31, he's just not being aggressive towards us. That is exactly freaking why. Okay, so I'm going to go for this as soon as I freaking can. And then we're going to see how... Okay, $5,400 right there that we just got from that crate interesting okay we need to better our defenses here though as well but i really want to pay attention to how much money we're going to be getting from this since of course that's the main focus uh for today's video okay but maybe should i go for like balloon crush now like what what should i go for i don't really know okay so we just got 5400 5400 three times four times five times six times seven eight nine ten oh my god i went for balloon crush by the way i got scared i got scared Wait, did we just make $54,000 then? We made $54,000 from that Monkeyopolis in one round. No shot. No shot we did. Okay, I'm really going to pay attention. Okay, 5400 right there. I'm paying attention to it this round just to make sure that we got $5,400 10 times. Already got it for this round. Holy crap. <laughs> that is actually insane. Oh, he's rushing us with a BD. Bro, what? I'm not ready for this. Oh my god, I was paying attention to this. Okay, I'm gonna go for a homeland then. Let's go for some mob maulers. Oh my goodness. Okay, I I was not freaking ready for this at all, boys. Okay, so oh wait, wrong hotkeys, wrong hotkeys. But went for a mob eliminator. What we're gonna do here is do the double damage, do the whole freaking nine yards. This should hopefully be an easy clap. Uh, but at the same time, we have yet to do any damage. Okay, so maybe go for a few more of these. He's gonna send another one. Oh god, guys. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, God. Okay, so we're going to have to tower boost this. Tower boost. Use all... Or double damage. Use all these abilities. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's got to be able to defend. We just got to pop that off. We're about to pop it off. Balloon Crush, come in for me. Yes. Good, good, good. Use Moab Eliminator. Perfect. Okay. All right. Um, This is kind of just all over the place. I know. I'm sorry in advance. But I'm pretty sure we made $54,000, by the way. Which is just, again absolute insanity uh we gotta go for another homeland here by the way okay so let's sell you go for the homeland again let's tower boost as well because i'm not taking any chances let's use all these abilities use all of them boom perfect awesome okay easy class right there i mean we've got literally all the money in the world that we need to defend against that it's just we didn't have the towers placed down on the map just yet but once we pop up the BAD layers, Balloon Crush just stuns everything underneath. And yeah, it's, this is in fact going to be a GG. Oh my god, I, I just held that down. Okay, so I just sent him like a lot of BADs there. He is not going to defend. He has no chance of defending. We could send him an even bigger rush if he really, really wanted to. But it, it would just be overkill at that point. Okay, so $54,000 
from a single Monkeyopolis. Let me know what you guys think about the Monkeyopolis buff down in the comments below. Is it actually worth going for? I honestly, I mean, I think so. I think so. Granted, we absorbed eight farms. So, like, it makes sense at the same time as to why we're making so much money, right? Um, but $55,000 too, the cost of this. And we can only sell it for forty-eight. Oh, but we made $300,000 total too. Holy crap, that's a lot of money. I mean, look, the, the freaking Monkey Wall Street hasn't even made $300,000. So that is pretty insane to think about. Uh, but he is finally going to go down to all the BADs. Didn't even try to counter, by the way. I mean... A counter wouldn't have worked anyway, but once again, GG's. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to check out this video where I use the best BTD Battles 1 strategy in BTD Battles 2. Good old Dark Farm Ace. I'm sure you guys are aware of it. It's goaded in both games, so if you have yet to go check it out, go make sure to watch it.